And next up, the sudden popularity of a South Korean TV series on the mainland has been good news for many restaurant owners in Shanghai. One such street known for its Korean eateries are, has grown so crowded that people have to line up for more than an hour to get a table. Zhang Ningbun of ICS tells us more. The main characters in the series, you who came from the stars, enjoying eating Korean fried chicken and washing it down with beer. And the show's popularity has made fried chicken a symbol of romance for many young couples and created new interest in other Korean foods such as spicy rice cakes and soybean soup. Xu Biyun went to Hongchun Road in Minghang District to try some of the food on Saturday. But she had to spend hours in line to get three tickets to order potato strings, spicy rice cakes and octopus balls. It's tiring to line up. I waited one hour to get a ticket for the spicy rice cakes, and I waited another one hour for the rice cakes to be ready. I rarely come here, but I heard about this street after you who came from the stars became popular. And I decided I wanted to try when I saw so many people lining up. She says she likes the Korean food. There is a lot of pickle flavor in it. I saw them put many different sauces inside through the window. The owner of the snack stands was too busy to talk to ICS, but some regular Chinese customers were surprised to see the crowd. There were few people here two or three months ago. How could it be so crowded today? I think maybe it's because some social networks introduced the street after the South Korean TV show became popular. More than 100 South Korean restaurants and snack stands have opened along this street since 2007. At 2 in the afternoon, Anthony King was still busy in his restaurant. His place is well known in the neighborhood for its traditional Korean barbecue. He says the street's new popularity is a happy problem. The number of Chinese customers has doubled from two months ago. Customers need to wait for seats during lunchtime. And during busy nights, customers need to wait for as long as an hour to get a seat if they don't make a reservation. King now closes the restaurant from two and a half in the afternoon to prepare for the dinner rush. But he needs more people to keep up with the crowds. It's difficult to recruit employees. Now we need ten employees around tables and ten cooks but we only have six on both sides. Kimi is already working on the recruitment plan and says some of his friends in South Korea are talking about setting up their own restaurants in Shanghai. Nearly 200 South Korean companies set up in Shanghai last year and 70% of them are restaurants. But business conditions here are tough. I hope the rent could be reduced. Our shop owners pay between 8 and 15 yuan per square meter per month. Back in Seoul, the best shop in rich Gangnam-gu costs two-thirds of the rent here. There are now more than 20,000 South Koreans living in Shanghai, the third largest expat community in town. Johnny Ben, ISIS for CCTV, Shanghai.